Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Felicia Mazadu, your guide to the best clothes, tips, products, and ideas that help you look and feel your best. So today I have for you a video where I'm going to demonstrate to you how I blow dry my hair. I have not blow dried my hair in over, I want to say maybe eight months or so. So I was a little rusty, but um, I enjoy putting out content where I am able to show you the blow drying process just because I know for me it took a really long time for me to understand how to blow dry my hair and I'm still trying to perfect it every single time I blow dry my hair but because I don't consistently blow dry my hair I sometimes have to start over from scratch but I feel like I have some really good techniques that are going to help you to minimize the breakage I don't really think you're exempt from breakage when you are blow drying your hair because um, it's a lot of like tension on the hair and if you're going from straight to curly you're going to receive if you're going from curly to straight you're definitely going to receive some type of heat damage or some type of damage but my goal is to help you minimize the damage um and i think that i demonstrate that pretty well in this video so i definitely want to share that with you now this in no way shape or form is perfected or the like ex the best best way to do it but it's something that I've learned how to do and it's definitely helped me so I wanted to share that all with you and let's jump into it I'm starting off on freshly washed hair now I'm going to begin organizing my hair in sections to simplify the blow-drying process Next, I'm going to be lightly spritzing my hair with water to give it some elasticity and hydration. And that helps to just moisturize the hair. Next, I'm going to apply this Design Essentials Natural Agave Lavender Blow Dry and Styling Primer. This product is going to help with prepping my hair for heat styling and it just helps to protect the hair from heat damage. And then I just go through and I detangle with a comb. Next, I'm applying the Design Essentials Thermal Protection Cream. I find that this product really helps to soften up my texture and it helps with me being able to brush through my hair as I'm blow drying it. And this is also going to be a protectant to help minimize extreme heat damage. And after applying that, I also detangle once more. Next, I'm going to take a small section of my hair and the smaller the section, the straighter the hair comes out. So now I'm gonna blow dry my hair using the tension method. I'm gonna take this Denman brush and I'm gonna hold my hair taut. I like to wrap it around the Denman brush just to give it more tension, but you do have to be careful with that. And um, I really like to focus on the ends and the mid shaft and I keep the blow dryer on a cool setting and I switch it to warm from cool to warm from cool to warm. And then I just focus it on the ends and the mid shaft first. And then I work my way up to the roots and I just continue to blow dry my hair, making sure that my hair is getting smooth and straight. So I just, um, I'll keep blow drying it until I start to see the texture and the curl pattern change. Now, once I said before, I am a little rusty. I haven't blow dried my hair in a minute. So my hair did get stuck in between the bristles of the brush. So I just had to be mindful of that. So I was just working through trying to figure out the best way to do this tension method while keeping my hair taut. So just be mindful of that. Sometimes it happens. It's not a perfected blow drying process. So during this time, I also switched brushes. Um, sometimes I find that my hair doesn't smooth out as much with the Denman brush. So I like to alternate brushes. So after I'm done doing the tension method with my, with my Denman brush, then I switched to my Echo Tools Smoothing Detangler brush. And I just placed my hair in between the bristles and I blow dried and brushed my hair um, going in a vertical direction to help smooth out the hair. And I just did this until my hair was thoroughly dried and thoroughly straightened. So after I work on the cool and warm settings, I will switch to a high heat setting so that I can get my hair to be as straight as possible. And because my hair is pretty thick and pretty kinky, it can take a lot of heat. 
and um, I noticed that my brush was catching some tangles, which is very normal, but um, you have to be careful with that so that you're not damaging the hair. I just wanna emphasize that I do not rake my hair or continue to blow dry my hair if I feel tangles or if I hear tangles. I will stop blow drying and I will detangle my hair with my fingers or I will re-wet my hair and start over on the section if needed. And then I'll just repeat those steps until my hair is fully complete and everything is pretty much smooth and straightened out to uh, my satisfaction. And this is the finished product. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Favorite peace and blessings. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.